This weapon houses all of my favorite children and I call stationery my children because they're the only things I'll ever care about in a way that someone would care about their children. Also, I can't speak well because um, I just put my dentures in and I'm feeling a little full in my mouth. Okay, getting on to what you click this video for. I got this weapon or pencil case rather off of Amazon. It's a cheapo, that's why I got it. It is grey and very sad as you can already probably see. And on it I have stabbed it with my personality because apparently that's what cool girls do. And god forbid I forfeit any chance of me actually becoming a cool girl. I also like stabbing. As long as the stabbing is done with an enamel pin that I spend way too much money on. Alright, opening it up. Am I too close or am I? Yeah, that, that should be fine. Okay, so as I said, I got this off of Amazon. I will link it in the description if I can find it else. You probably don't need a pencil case this ugly anyway, so it's fine. This pencil case has three compartments, which is useful for me. And I have categorized everything by category. Lol. So in the first compartment, I have my essentials, my holy grail, whatever that I use on a daily basis. I mean, I use everything on a daily basis, but whatever I use pretty regularly on a daily basis. The middle one keeps in all the essentials, but also non-essentials. That doesn't make any sense. The middle compartment has everything that I use for embellishing whatever notes that I'm taking. And the third one has crap that I basically never use, refills, that sort of thing. And it's also the stamped part. Alright, so moving on to the first compartment of this weapon. This is everything that I use on the daily, everything that is, well, like I said, my holy grail. So first up, this is my go-to pen because I really hate Muji pens. I know that study tube and study talk and all these study influencers absolutely love Muji pens, but I cannot stand it. I mean, that that ink does not dry. That ink takes just as long as it does for the sun to go around the entire earth. No, wait the earth to go around the entire sun to dry and i write weird i don't write in the same way other people do so i tend to smudge a lot and that is not good for me you know so i i can't get muji pens which is why my holy grail is this pilot g2 it's cheap and it also dries pretty fast so my go to gel pen next up we have these two ballpoint pens they're just your basic standard big ballpoint pens which i use this one for general studying and note taking i guess when i don't want my notes to look nice you know i don't care and I use this for writing down answers for science-based questions because I find that blue just gives me that answer vibe. So yeah, these two. Third, fourth, whatever. I have my mechanical pencil. This was a gift from my partner. Um, it's a Tombow mechanical pencil. I've only ever used one other mechanical pencil my entire life. And this is something that I have been using before last year when I got my Tombow one. This one I got from the book fair in Sri Lanka, which if you're a Sri Lankan, you know that is the place to be if you're a stationery addict or a book nerd or someone. I've been using this pen from 2015 till 2022. I don't understand all these people who buy a bunch of mechanical pencils every single school year. Like, what are you gonna do with all those mechanical pencils? To me, the point of getting a mechanical pencil is so that you don't have to buy another pencil ever, but all these people just seem to lose theirs. A red pen because I like to play teacher sometimes. And this is the only colored ballpoint pen I use. I got this from 99, I think, and I actually hardly ever use this, even though it's in my list of essentials. And we have three mind liners here. These are my most used colors. So we have two shades of purple and one, it says summer green, but I think it's a turquoise. And I have a few more in my pencil case, but that's it for the first compartment. Okay, on to the middle child. I have loads of shit here. This is not an essential. This is just the accent color for January in my bullet journal. I'll link my January plan with me above. I've got two Sakura Pigma Microns. One is in the color 101. The color one is in the size 01 and the other in 05 and I use these mostly for bullet journaling. This Tombow Dual brush pen gets more use than I would actually like to admit. I use it both in my bullet journal and both for note taking when I'm writing down like headers because I'm one of those fancy bitches. A couple more mild liners. I don't use these very often but I also still do so they're in the middle compartment. This very fancy bougie looking ruler that I got from Notebook Therapy that um, came as part of a set else I wouldn't have gotten it in this color because it's so gaudy. Correction tape from Tombow because I make mistakes but I refuse to use pencils unless I'm sketching. 
an eraser and this too I have been using since 2015 or 2016 I think I got this from Office Depot when I came to the US on holiday I've been using this since forever washi tape just because one of my close friends actually gave this to me when she came back from the UK this is not stationary but I have hand cream because my hands get really chapped in this Californian weather and this little perfume because sometimes I stink and I don't want to stink and that's it for the middle child okay and finally we move on to the last compartment which is actually the most boring one even though it's the most embellished Ugh. It's kind of falling apart as you can see here. I mean, it is a cheap pencil case that I got, got that I got off of Amazon. So on these little flappy things, because I can't actually keep stuff in there because I've stuck pins, I keep a few paper clips that again, I don't use them that much. This is the stub from the eraser that I was talking about earlier. It was pretty much the whole length of the thing and it lasted me the entirety of seven years, which is pretty good because I use this eraser a hell of a lot. This Tombow glue tape because I don't like using the actual glue since I found this. Again, I use this mostly for my bullet journal for sticking pages. Band-aids because I'm crazy over-prepared. A bunch of sticky tabs that I have never ever ever used so I should probably expel these ones and the last item it's just some pencil lead for my mechanical pencil that I have been using forever oh no wait that's not this mechanical pencil that's the other one but I still have a lot of pencil lead in my pencil case and that's it in my pencil case okay now I'm gonna give you a pin tour just parts of my identity that I have stabbed my pencil case with first up we have this Backstreet Boys pin it's from their DNA tour if you don't know me in real life well you should know that I am a huge Backstreet Boys fan I've been listening to them ever since I was young because my father would always play their songs in the car and whatnot and they're pretty much my favorite band so I felt like I had to get one of their pins to celebrate them next one is turning red and I actually didn't think I would like this movie as much as I did because it looked a little cringe yeah but it hit me a lot harder it was very nuanced and I kind of related to the whole well basically everything especially like the girls being weird part I'm a huge how to train your dragon fan and I got this from Universal Studios I actually very nearly stole this pin long story but I, I actually walked out of the store holding this in my hand without realizing before I realized and then I had to run back and I thought maybe it was like why not just buy it at this point so I bought it next up we have Aang in his avatar state I got this one from box lunch I think and well I love avatar not the blue ones the cool avatar this pen was a gift from my best friend from when she went on a European tour without me how rude but she more than made up for it when she brought me this Hermione pin I've always loved Hermione because who doesn't this one my parents would probably kill me for I am a huge Tangled fan and this was the cheapest Tangled pin that it he had so I just I I bought it because it it was it was cheap it was like five bucks you're never going to get a pin for five bucks and I I, I know my parents would kill me for this but I, I still had to get it okay we have Haku here because look, Spirited Away was the first studio Ghibli Ghibli I still don't know how you pronounce it. It was the first Studio Ghibli film that I watched and I really like dragons if you can't already tell. So we have this. I am a Slytherin and I will scream that at anyone I know. So it's on my pencil case, as straightforward as it is. My mom got me this one. And lastly, we have my boy Zuko. I got this pin off of Etsy. I'll link it down. I mean, everything's gonna be linked down below anyway, but you already know that. I have a huge crush on Zuko, which I think is just a bit creepy to say as an almost 22 year old it, it, it doesn't matter um we have a doubt zuko in the comics i also have this little like a charm thing it's something that i got from disneyland when i was 14 and it is rapunzel i don't like the gemstone detail on it it's so gaudy and i don't like it but still there so whatever oh this actually wasn't the last few so i have a few tiny pins that i stuck here um i mean i'm from sri lanka and i don't really have have anything that kind of symbolizes the fact that I'm Sri Lankan except for this SLMUN pin which is kind of ironic because I don't like MUN but it's a nice looking pin I've got to give it to the pin and whoever designed the pin you, you did a good job so I have an SLMUN pin here this one was from when I think UBC came to my high school for a university fair they were giving out really cute 
Canada pin, so I took one because it's a pin and it's free. And this I bought while I was at Oxford because I milk this literally every single time. And you would know this if you follow me on my social media, which is sad, but yeah. And that is it for the tour of my weapon. And I have made a, a huge mess here, just look. If you like this video, please like the video down below just just click that thumbs up button subscribe all of that jazz i post videos every week on fridays and you can get a basic idea of what my content is by just going through my feed thanks for watching and hope you have a great weekend day whenever you're watching this bye